Hi everyone, so today we're here again and we're gonna go ahead and be discussing the education program here at Cochise College. And we're here with one of our faculty members. Hi. Hi, um, I'm Dr. Ellen Vujicinovic and I teach uh, classes here at, at Cochise and the College of Education. Hi, so can you give us a short description of our education program, please? Sure. Um, the education program at Cochise is an associate's degree. Um, typically, it takes four semesters um, or two years if you um, take about 15 credits a semester. Um, if you want to go more quickly, uh, you can also take classes in education in the summer. Oh, perfect. Or if you want to take less credits uh, during the semester and um, spread it out. You can also take classes uh, over the summer and we also have eight week classes um, to add on as well. Um, so our program is to prepare students to go on to get their four year degree. It's a transfer program essentially. And um, we're preparing you to take um, classes and do your student teaching at the university level. Perfect. And are there any benefits of them starting at Cochise instead of starting at a university? There's a few benefits. Um, the first benefit, I think, is economic. Um, certainly, if students um, start at Cochise College, the um, the cost per credit hour is much less than if you oh, yeah. were to go directly to University of Arizona or ASU or NEU. Um, so it is um, much less expensive. Um, also, I think the personal attention that one gets when they're mm -hmm. at a community college is um, a lot more personalized. Nice work. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, being at community college. I used to uh, teach at U of A as a graduate student and I typically had, you know, hundreds of students and wow. now I, now I, I don't have as many and, um, you know, as a faculty member, I'm able to guide and mentor and advise you along the way and also kind of prepare you to, um, to be ready to go to university when you're ready. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little bit more of a stepping stone between high school and full four-year university where your classes might be really large. Mm -hmm. um, the other opportunities we have that are um, really exciting right now are um, two opportunities that the state of Arizona is offering. Um, one is called the Arizona Teachers Academy, which allow students to get their associate's degree in education at Cochise College. And then once you finish your associate's degree in education, you can apply to the Arizona Teachers Academy. And what does that mean? You will finish your last two years of coursework at, at U of A, NIU, or ASU. And um, those years will get paid for by the state of Arizona if you commit to teaching two years in Arizona. That's amazing. Yeah, but it is to help um, the shortage of teachers that we do have in Arizona. We need teachers. Um, and in order to ensure that we have a steady flow of teacher candidates, they're helping pay for, um, for your last two years of university. So that's really exciting. Um, we also have something unique to Cochise County uh, that I, I wanted to uh, let you know, but also the high school students know that if you finish your associates in education, um, you can also apply to something called Pathways to Teaching, which is mm -hmm. through University of Arizona. It's a really neat program because um, you will walk out of your associate's degree and into a classroom already in Cochise County, and you will essentially be a teaching intern. So you will teach and you will take your classes to finish your degree in education. And those classes are offered on the, at the school site as mm -hmm. well. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then wow. um, instead of having to teach and take classes and work, they're trying to eliminate you having to work while getting your degree. So they're mm -hmm. offering a thousand dollar a month stipend as you teach mm -hmm. and take classes. Mm -hmm. So you're not paying tuition. 
and you're getting paid $1,000 a month. So you're actually getting paid to finish your degree and teach at the same time. That's great. That's called Pathways to Teaching. That's okay. only through University of Arizona. But that would still qualify for the other one you talked about. Yes. So okay. um, there's just lots of great opportunities once you get your associate's degree through coaches in education um, to go on and finish and get certified in the state of Arizona. So um, I think uh, economically speaking, it's it's a great uh, it's a great way to go in terms of um, starting at Cochise College. Yeah. And then can you use this associates in education to be any type of high school or middle school elementary teacher? Like, you know, like, let's say a student wants to be a physical education teacher or like a science teacher, you can just start with this base one. Well, I think one thing that this degree offers, and I try to let students know that um, even if you take classes in education, sometimes it helps you to decide if you want to do that and, you know, whether or not you want to go into the field of education. Um, you would need to go on to school in order to be able to teach, um, you know, in the classroom in a public school. However, a lot of people will take some education classes at Cochise just to kind of figure out what they might want to do and they get a little, um, a little taste of what they might be doing and whether or not they like it to really commit to the profession. Um, also, I think with an associate's degree, even though you can't teach you know, as a certified teacher in the classroom, you can certainly work as a tutor. It's great background for, you know, leading recreation programs, uh, being a tutor, being a, an instructional assistant in the schools, um, anything really to do with the K through 12 public schools um, and really that idea of working with kids and working in your community um, mm -hmm. is addressed in all of the coursework. Um, it's an exciting field, you know, things are changing more rapidly now with COVID. Mm -hmm. Lots more technology is being implemented. Um, lots more options for teaching, including like this. And um, I think it's, it's exciting right now. Uh, lots of uh, reform and changes going on. And uh, the new teachers being trained are going to get to be a part of those um, exciting changes. So what are classes typically like pre-COVID? Okay. Pre-COVID, we still actually use Zoom. Um, and that's because we wanted people to be able to go to any campus that was close to their, to their hometown mm -hmm. um, and be able to Zoom into class. So we had the option before of face-to-face um, -face class with a live streaming option. So you would Zoom into that classroom. Mm -hmm. um, now we're doing a couple of options um, and we're probably going to continue with Zoom because we always have to make it more accessible. Mm -hmm. um, we have fully online, so that would mean no live stream class, you know, you work on your own and work at your own pace. Um, I myself record a lot of lectures and videos and messages and sometimes you have to record yourself in those online classes, but it's essentially self-paced. Right. And then we have classes where we meet um, once or twice a week and we have regular class and talk as if we're talking right now and um, have class discussions and presentations and we do everything over Zoom and it's live stream anywhere. You can be anywhere essentially and Zoom into class and, um, and have class like that. And those we offer during the day or um, a couple are offered at night as well. Perfect. So even if they're working, they can still go ahead and go to school. Absolutely. Yeah. I have students who even work in the field of education, they're instructional assistants or, you know, TAs at schools, or they work with an after school program and then they come to class at night and, um, and it works out for them pretty well. And so I know this is going to be hard to nail down, but what do you think is the most exciting thing about your program? Uh, I think that our program is growing in that um, I think there's just these, these great opportunities that are coming up locally and in Arizona for teachers that I, I, 
I think the program is going to be um, it's going to be full of lots of interesting opportunities for you, especially if you want to work in your community and help make some changes in your community. Um, also, you know, our classes are are pretty interesting. You know, we talk a lot about everything from the history of education in the U.S. to you know, court cases and current issues affecting our schools and um, looking at, you know, the different diverse backgrounds of our students and how to best um, teach the, the, um, the diverse learners that we have in every classroom. Um, I think we do a lot of uh, interesting what would you do scenarios, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of um, looking at possible real life applications and mm -hmm. um, talking about what we would do. Um, we watch a lot of films and have a lot of debates and discussions even via Zoom um, that are really interesting. Um, we also do uh, virtual observations right now of K through 12 classrooms because of COVID we're doing um, observations virtually, but mm -hmm. typically uh, education students at Cochise would get into their local schools and they'd be able to um, watch teachers teaching and kind of get into um, what it's like to be, you know, in K through 12 life <laughs> as a teacher. Um, so I think there's just some really neat real world applications. We mm -hmm. always um, take the class material and apply it to real life. Um, and um, also I think that students in the class, there's a little bit for everybody. Like I say, there's a little bit of history, a little bit of uh, current events, sociology, psychology. Um, there's just kind of a little bit of everything for uh, education majors. Oh, that's great. And then they get to kind of test out situations in the classroom setting where you can go ahead and help them figure out what's the best real life solution. Yeah, and and also a lot of times the students are helping construct knowledge with each other, you know, mm -hmm. not just me as a faculty member, but students will tell other students what they think that they would do in that scenario. And so they're helping each other kind of as a community of learners mm -hmm. build knowledge and um, figure out what they would do as a teacher in certain situations. Oh, so. that's perfect. Okay, well, thank you for your time, and we hope that we see you here at Cochise College to help form our community schools and our future students. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.